All right, good morning, good morning, guys. Back at it again with another video. Mr. Brian here again, Mr. At Midlife Prices. I had no idea that you're so scared of <laughs> going up in the lift like that. <laughs> so I, I definitely know if Brian's over here helping, he'll be on the ground, I'll be up in the air. I'll so that's all here. cool. All right, guys, so we're gonna start this portion of the build with doing the base rail for the lean on right here. So this is two by four steel and this is two by three steel for the lean on for the base rail. And then also on the short ends of the walls of the garage, it's two by three steel as well. So there's a little bit of a difference there and there's a bit of a smaller anchor here that we're gonna be using as well. And we're just gonna be doing the same method that we did for this one. Um, the pieces should line up the exact same as they did on this side here. And let's get started. Oh, come on. Hey. Oh. That's all right, you can retie it. But what the f Dang. All right, so the same way that we did a chalk line, same way that we did a chalk line for the other ones, I'm gonna do it for this one as well. Clean until about here. Okay, here, let's, let's redo it then. Yeah. Just for this portion. So it's important to note with this lean on here, so we went 10 feet from the outer side of that base rail to the outer side of this one here. And then we also have to come in an inch and a half from, um, from this side here. And so then that will match the, uh, the side down at the other base rail. And then we're just gonna follow our line all the way down and that's it, till easy. easier. <laughs> well, this could be an Nice. Want to touch the hiney. You know what the movie that's from, right? What is it? So hot. Want to touch the hiney. Oh, that does. I do recognize that. Billy Madison. Oh, God. <laughs>
All right, guys, so we have all the base rails down. Everything looks pretty straight. Everything's lining up uh, pretty nice. Now, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take the vertical pieces. So there's, I think, 34 of them right here. So we have 23 trusses all the way across. And on this one side of the building, there's 23 slots for where these bad boys are gonna go. And then on the other side, there's gonna be 11. And the difference is because we've got the, the headers and stuff for, for the doors. So that's why there's gonna be a difference in number of these vertical posts on this side as opposed to the other side. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one piece off at a time, put it into place, and then I'll probably come around with the uh, with a scissor lift, put a little piece of two by four on top, just knock it down nice and secure, and then we can come back and put uh, screws through the entire thing. So I think they're, each one of these posts Maybe I'll just check the, uh, the, video, the VersaTube videos on it, but I think we put two screws in it. And we're also put, supposed to put screws in the base rails as well, between the swedge and the part that it connects to. I can come back just with a drill and just go through all of that uh, pretty quick. But we're gonna get these into place. And then it's actually gonna start looking like, like this, this is a building. And this is really the third, I would say second full day. Yesterday was kind of a full day, the day before kind of like half quarter day, if that, so. Yeah, it's moving along pretty quick. This was like built for me. <laughs> there we go. Our panel is going to go on the roof. Yes. But after the roof is completed. Yes. Correct. Yeah. Can you walk on the roof? <clears throat> That's something that I've already been thinking about, mm. and because it is sheet metal, that mm. we'll have to be very careful. You know who this is? Stevie Nicks. I was going to say. It does sound like her voice. Yeah. yeah. All right guys, we're just about done for the day. One last little thing before we finish is I'm gonna take the scissor lift up there and I'm gonna pound the top of each of those two by fours just so that we get a very snug connection. Uh, we did slide them over top and a lot of them did hit the bottom of the, uh, of the swedge or swage, um, but we're just gonna go up there, pound it down just to make sure that that connection is really nice and tight. And then that also mean that all the heights of them are gonna be the same as well. Brian's gonna take some drone shots. Let's see how he does. Mm -hmm. 